subscribe to Justin's Computing Class for more computing lessons. Thank you. Subscribe to Justin's Computing Class. Subscribe to Justin's Computing Class. Don't forget to subscribe to Justin's Computing Class. Subscribe to Justin's Computing Class for more computing lessons. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe for Justice Computing Class. Like to Justice Computing Class for more videos. Subscribe to Justice Computing Channel. Bye. Please don't forget to subscribe to Justice Computing Class for more lessons. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to Justice Computing Class. My name is Justice Joseph Kofi Kabe. Today's lesson, I want us to look at a topic or a, a strand in basic uh, four uh, under computing. That is introduction to computer. Under this topic, we'll be looking at uh, generation of computers and parts of a computer and other gadgets. So, and we'll also be looking at, so the main thing we'll be taking into consideration today is parts of a computer and technology tools. So, if today is your first time of watching this channel, I advise you to subscribe to this channel so that anytime we upload a lesson for your class, you'll be the first person to, re to, to receive it. I advise all uh, computing teachers to advise their students to watch this channel to have full knowledge of the lesson that they'll be treating for the following for every week. Without wasting my time, I want us to move straight to this lesson. Um, so we're looking at um, identify identify parts of our, a computer. So we are looking at identify parts of a computer and technology tools. So that's what we are going to look at under. Uh, part of a, uh, our introduction to personal computer. So we'll be looking at the definition. So the first thing I want, I want us to look at the definition of a computer. So a computer is an electronic device for processing and storing data. Simple for students in grade four or basic four. So simply, a computer is an electronic device for processing and storing data good now let's look at some of the parts of the computer the main part of the computer so we have the system units we have the monitor we have the keyboard and we have the mouse so these are the four main parts of the computer good now let's take them one after the other and talk about them. The first one we are going to talk about now is the system unit. The system unit is the head of the computer. It does, it does the thinking for the computer. It uses many belt devices to help it to, it to do its work. So now let's look at the types of uh, system unit that we have. We have the tower system units, we have the desktop system units, and we also have the all-in-one computer, which means that it, the system unit and uh, the monitor, everything is one. I hope you've seen, you can see the picture on your screen, the inbuilt, uh, the all-in-one computer. This device includes the motherboard. Now, in the system, there are some devices that are found inside the system unit. So these devices include the motherboard, the central processing unit, which is the CPU, and the power supply. The front of the case of, the, of a system unit usually has an on and off button and one, of, uh, one or more optical drives. So these devices are found, these devices that I've mentioned are found inside the system unit. 
Now let's look at the system in there, the inside, inside the system unit. Some of the components that are found inside the system unit. So as you can see on your screen, um, let me ask, let me say this. Have you ever heard or have you ever looked inside a system unit or seen pictures of inside of one? These small parts may, uh, may look complicated, but the inside of the computer case isn't really all that mysterious. This lesson will help you master some of the basic technologies and understand a bit more about what goes on inside the computer. Good. Now, let's take the first device that is found inside the system unit. The first one is the motherboard. The motherboard is the computer's main circuit. The computer main circuit board. It is the thin plate that holds the CPU, the memory connectors for the hard drive and optical drives, expansion cards to control the video and audio and connections to your computer's parts that such as the USB port and all that okay so the computer's ports such as USB ports so as you can see on, on your screen that is a picture of a motherboard good now let's look at CPU let's look at CPU the central processing unit is also called a processor is located inside the computer case on the motherboard it is sometimes called the brain of the computer and it, its job is to carry out commands its job is to carry out commands so the system unit as you see as we said is a brain which means that all processing happens inside the system unit so is that CPU, all the processes that happen inside the system is the CPU that makes sure that all those commands are being carried out well. Now the next one is the RAM. The form is the random access memory. RAM is your RAM is your system short-term memory. This short-term memory disappears when the computer is turned off. If you are working on a document you will need to save it to avoid losing it in other words we said you lose it it, it loses its data when there is power cuts so assuming you are working on your computer and without saving your document and the light goes off you lose the data so ram is a temporary storage memory of the computer when you save a file the data is written in the hard drive which acts as long-term storage. So the hard drive stores data for a long period of time. So that takes us to another device or component which is found inside the system, which is the hard drive. The hard drive is where your, your software document and other files are stored. The hard drive is long-term storage, which means the data is still saved even if you turn the computer off or unplug it so the hard drive saves documents software even if you turn the computer off or there any power cards your documents will be saved then the next one is the power supply units the power supply units in a computer convert the power from the wall outlets to the type of uh, power needed by the computer it sends power through the cables to the motherboard and the other other components well, that is the uh, PCI that is the peripheral component interconnection cards so the mother the power supply unit when you want to power your system unit you plug your cable to the power outlet at your wall then the power, the power supply unit receives the power and sends it to the motherboard for a proper function for it to work well. So as you can see in the screen, that is the picture of the power 
supply unit. Let's move on to another part of the computer, which is monitor. The monitor works with a video card located inside the computer to display images and text on the screen. Most monitors have control buttons that allow you to change your monitor's display settings and some monitors also have built-in speakers. So, the monitor that we have, as I said, some of them are, have, are having inbuilt or built-in speakers that when you are using it, it gives you sound or gives you the sound or played music out that you can hear. Now, let's look at some of the some types of uh, monitor. We have the liquid crystal display. We have the cathode ray tube. And in other books, we have the light emitting diode. Now, in the exams, if they should ask you to write the two main types of monitor that we have is the cathode ray tube and the liquid crystal display or the flat panel. The liquid crystal display is also called the flat panel. And the light emitting diode are the flat screens at home, the monitor, the television set that we have at home. That's why normally mommy say, please, and let me please buy us an LED TV. Are we okay? So they are the flat screens that we use we use at home. So these are three or two main types, which the see uh, the cathode ray tube, the liquid crystal display. Which there are the two main types, but the other types of monitors are the LED team, which is the light emitting diode. Which is so let's look at the next device, which is keyboard. Keyboard is one of the main ways to communicate with a computer. There are many different types of keyboards, but the most are very similar and allow you to accomplish the same basic task the keyboard is used for typing so the keyboard as you can see on your screen you've all heard of keyboard before so the keyboard is used for typing the keyboard we have different type of keyboard mouse another type of dev uh, device or another part of the computer which is the mouse the mouse is another important tool for communicating with the computers commonly known as a pointing device it lets you paint to objects on the screen click on them and move them there are two main types of mouse we have the optical mouse and the cordless mouse i hope you are clear good so now let's look at the optical mouse the optical mouse uses an electronic eye Detect movement and it and is easier to play. And the mechanical mouse, the mechanical mouse uses a rolling ball to detect the movement and requires regular cleaning to work properly. So that is for the mechanical mouse and the optical mouse. Now let's look at um, some examples of mouse we have the trackball we have the touch pad ah. before i end today's lesson i want to give you this assignment try as much as possible go through and see if you can try your hands on it if you have any questions or any uh, comments can you leave it under the comment section below and i'll respond to them as soon as i see them so now answer the following question below an electronic device that processes and stores data is called that's question one two the head of the computer is dash three computers that have all the other parts in one unit are called then the fourth one what will be found in front of the case of each system unit then the next one which the fifth is the last question Mention two devices that connect to the system units. This is your question for today. Kindly answer this question and um, forward it to this WhatsApp number on your screen. I will mark it and display the result in our subsequent video when we meet in our next lesson. Until then, 
stay blessed always remember to put on your nose mask and sanitize your hand use alcohol based sanitizer and wash your hands under running water stay blessed and hope to see you in our next, next lesson bye bye for now please don't forget to subscribe to justin's computing card for more lessons thank you